Yeah, yeah, let's get the sleepiness out of my face here. Ah. My name is Chris Bergender. I'm crew chiefing for the Sorensons this year in Formula Drift. And I've been in drifting uh, for a little over 10 years. Been doing Formula Drift since 2018. Jumped in with the Worth House guys, was just throwing tires for them, just getting my feet wet in the sport. It's taken me across the world. I've gone to Japan for it. I've, I don't know, just kind of dabbled. I've turned it into my lifestyle. I do this at a local shop back home that I personally run. It's a fabrication shop based around drifting. And I don't know, it's my, my life's work and my passion. Thought I was gonna take some time off and then the Sorensons approached me. And after a few phone calls, it seemed like a pretty good fit. So I decided to try to step in and see how well we can do this year. Right, my name is Brian Barnhill. I'm uh, essentially the race engineer for Sorensen Motorsports. Um, what that essentially means is I handle all the tuning, all of the data, um, and translating that data with Chris, our uh, crew chief, and uh, our other setup uh, engineer, for lack of a better term for him as well. We kind of wear mini hats around here. My background in motorsports, I've been racing since I was about five years old. Started in uh, motocross, ran across, a little bit of supercross, um, racing with my family, my, my three of my four brothers. Um, from there, just, uh, just it, car family in general. Um, I believe my parents took me in my first race before I was one to the Indy 500. Um, so big car family. So when the Sorensons approached me for this year, I was kind of already a little overloaded at my shop and I didn't really think I was gonna do much, but the more I started talking to them and the more I started to realize how their program, how they're really family-based, they've been doing this for years, uh, it really interested me. It's, it's like these kids are doing things that I wanted to do when I was a kid, and they, and they are. They are they are kids, 17 and 19 years old, but these, these kids have more driving and professional racing experience than half of the professional field out there, than people twice their age. There's always kind of like the misconception, because they are young, because they are in a very professional motorsports at a young age, people just think that they buy their way in or do things like this and just throw many money at the sport, and, and get into it. And I'm not gonna lie, that was one of my first impressions while working on other teams and seeing it from the outside in, because that's the easiest thing to accept. The harder, realistic thing to accept is these kids know what they're doing. And this, this family has been doing this for so long. It's, it's real, it's professional. They're not halfway doing things or, or just, it's a fad for them. This is their lifestyle. They've been doing it forever. Coming out to Vegas and hanging out with them and being, uh, I mean, Honestly, they're amazing people, accepted me like family, so I feel very comfortable around them. And I, I lose track of how old they are because they are extremely mature for their age. So it's very comforting. And at the same time, when you think of working with kids can be discomforting, not at all. And everything about them is 100%. Everything about the Sorensen Motorsports is 100%. It's not the, you know, the spoiled kid, you know, misconception that you see. Motorsports cost money. Um, what we're doing and what they've started with, there's their budget, the money they're putting into this isn't any bigger than any of the other teams out here. Um, it's what it takes. And sorry, motorsports cost money. It, it's it's just a fact of life. You can spend as much money as you want, and it's not going to put you in the position where these guys are for sure. Um, there's been plenty of guys with money that have come in here that don't have the car understanding, that don't have uh, the driver skill, and yeah, seat time helps. But there's a certain level there, and. Uh, I mean, these, these kids got into cars the very first time they drifted and went out and were successful because they're talented drivers. They're not, they're not, you know, prima donna drivers. They're not arrive and drive drivers. Um, you know, if I'm out here at 3 a.m., Brandon's out here at 3 a.m. Um, Brandon's wrenching on his own car at the, the, at the shop, at the track. Um, he's pushing us out of the way to work on his car because he has his fire suit on and he gets in there quicker than we can because we can't touch hot headers and stuff like that or get close to stuff. So yeah, they, they, they have an understanding of the cars. Uh, we can have an in-depth technical conversation with Brandon and Amanda about what's going on. They want to know how the cars work. Um, they're not just you know spoiled rich because they don't expect to spend the money, show up and drive um, and treat everybody. We're, they treat us like a team, I, almost like a family to that level. You know, we're, They go out of their way to help us out. 
Um, so, you know, it's, yeah, they come from money. So they shouldn't apologize for that. They're not spoiled rich brats. They're not spoiled rich kids. Uh, you know, I, I see guys talk about, oh, if I had that money, you know, yeah, it would help a lot, but you can't just jump into these cars and go do what they do.